Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today I'm going to review the Vintage Saga Collection Han Solo in Endo trench coat. Um, one of my favourite Han Solo figures actually. The only one I think that is on the same level as this one is the 30th Anniversary Collection Wave 6 one uh, that came with the torture rack. I'll try and do a review on that sometime soon. Uh, for now though, this figure is pretty much perfect. Uh, the coat is removable. But before I take it off, I'll just show you some of the different bits on it. Um, you'll notice the little pockets on the side. You can actually put stuff in them. They do like not open up very wide, but you can put like blasters or some little grenades or something in there, which is handy. And quite a nice little detail. I thought they were just sewn on completely at first, but they're not. Uh, as I said, the coat is removable. I'll show you that now. Um, underneath is pretty good, nicely detailed. Pretty good likeness to Harrison Ford, which I like a lot. Uh, articulation is absolutely perfect. It's got a ball jointed neck, uh, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists a ball hinged torso no articulation in the waist I don't think, no, no articulation in the waist uh, swivel hips ball jointed knees and ball jointed ankles the belt is not removable but it does have a working holster and you can put a blaster in just take that and put it in his hand like that which is a nice little addition It's a vast improvement on the Power of the Force 2 version of this figure. Um, the Power of the Force 2 version, when it was first released, had um, blue trousers. Uh, they later corrected that and made it so that he had brown trousers. So I'd have uh, kind of liked it if uh, this one had have had a variation on it and, have, and you could have been able to buy, buy this with blue trousers. I'd have really liked that because I much prefer Han in blue trousers than brown for some reason, don't ask me why it's a pretty good figure I think it looks a lot better without the coat than he does with it but that's just my opinion but it's a pretty cool figure nonetheless a nice addition to any indoor scene and uh, a good addition to any collection really I've actually got him on display with the rest of my vintage uh, OTC collection at the back behind me in the cabinet and I'll uh, probably give you a rundown of each individual shelf pretty soon since I've had a bit of a reshuffle so until then keep collecting and may the force be with you